Anyway. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Hello. If yeah. this is your first time, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, you've missed out on a lot of stuff. You really let's have. Just, let's just say that from now. You wanted us to take you to Africa. So hey. we are going to take you to Africa. You hey. Know? hey. Do you remember? Not even remember, but them tunes that used to play every Saturday morning when you had to. to make you man a keto inspired dish from Nigeria Ooh. and the dish is yam porridge you said what? the video is finished a combination of just sweetness you have your carbs hey. you have your stew hey. you have your assorted meat for you guys that don't know what assorted meat is assorted meat is please oh yeah it's just a lot of meats. Just <laughs> <laughs> Such an amazing dish. Mm. I used to bang it out mm. when I was a child. Mm. I loved it. I mm. loved it. And the fact that this one cleverly discovered that you could still have it while on the keto lifestyle, my heart actually, I don't think you must understand. The day she, that I came to her house, she was just like, What? She she's was right? even lucky I had no container. Today, can, can you? I have container. Listen. That day when she came and bought the sweets to my house and made chips, mm -hmm. I said, wait, we must can have young porridge. We must can. Because it's like porero. Sweet is the keto porero. If you don't know, now you know. Hey, you heard it from where? <coughs> the keto way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise you, if you guys make this dish, you're not going to understand what just happened. Listen. You don't, you, you really, you really will understand. You will go to sleep and you'll think how? You said, how? Come closer. Come closer. Right, so, making your yam porridge is... Okay, now you're too close. I know. <laughs> we <laughs> move like, I'm like this. We get, <laughs> get out. So just, right, so, making your yam porridge is pretty easy, to be honest with you. The longest part of it, technically, is the boiling of the sweet and your assorted meat okay. but once that is done it's, so it's just is it a straight walk in the pack you know walk in the pack with your container mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that you need to do is wash that's your meat well well you know with the we lime do, with the vinegar we don't do no washing out here yeah. <clears throat> Wash your meat. Wash your meat, people. Wash your meat. It's the hygienic way. <laughs> the seasonings that you can use for your, your meat. meats are onion. I'm excited already. You just <laughs> slice the onion in your pot. Okay. Of meat. Okay. <laughs> your garlic powder. You can't we, not have a dish without garlic. We love garlic, garlic yeah. powder. I we mean, love garlic in our kitchen. It just gives that that, that food a different uh, taste. You know, the aroma even is sweet, salt to taste. Mm. Your aroma, sweet so name, paprika, cheese. Hello. <laughs> you know, I can actually legit even smell can this bowl. Can I just smell the, you I know, smell the, the bowl. mix of the seasoning. Just... No seasoning. In an African room, it's an essential thing. Or Maggi cubes. Correct. You need some of this? Again. Garlic and coriander, my favorite. You can't have too much garlic. Huh? Listen, too much garlic. Who even said too much? Okay, oh, we won't bathe out here. Literally, <laughs> literally, literally. So it's not a problem. It's not a problem. 
So guys, off camera, we have boiled our assorted meat and our swede. We have also cut our swede into sizable chunks. Hey! Because this will be going in. This is your, your yam. This is essentially your yam as part of as your yam porridge. Exactly. What meat did we use? Tell the people. We used smoked turkey, cheese, beef, cheese, and hog steel. Hey. But you can, for those people that don't like meat and prefer this one's not favorite. I don't do seafood. I, I do, no one should come for me either. I don't do seafood and I'm proud. When I sell, when I, I, I don't do seafood. You don't even do fish? No. no. She doesn't do nothing. <laughs> I don't do seafood. I don't do sea food. I don't do food from the sea. <laughs> <laughs> However, I do, so. You people, if you want to know how to make the fish seafood version, we'll talk about it in the comments. Just so, drop mm -hmm. a message for the seafood section. <laughs> <laughs> so, in saying that as well, uh, obviously, naturally, oxtail takes a while to boil. So, even though we have taken out the turkey and the beef, we let the oxtail marinate a little bit more because we like our meat soft. Falling off the yeah, bone. Falling off the bone. We not, have good teeth. Not that I hard, don't want to. Hard, hard, you're even fighting. <laughs> you like meat is fighting. So you can now chew in peace. That's correct. You know? Yes. And for ourselves, mm. that was beautiful. That, that was sound was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Essentially, yes. we only need three things. On your again. Your paprika. Is that paprika? What the fuck are you doing about this? This is a pepper. It's paprika, fam. It's actually paprika. Shut up. It's paprika. This is it. it, it That's a little pepper. Google! I've learned today. It's legit. I've only ever known paprika in As a powder form. No, paprika. Yeah. Look, paprika. That is. You know, we like spice in our kitchen. Don't come to me with bland food. If it does not have that heat, come what from here? Just get out from here. Move from my front. Touch. Bonnet pepper. Mm, mm, mm. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's literally all you need. We have blended our uh, stuff together, as you can see. So you're gonna heat up your pot. No oil, no nothing. Once it's heated, you literally just add it and let the paste or to whatever mix we'll this call it this mix, mix. this blend <laughs> but yeah dry out guys do you know what the secret is to your young forage i bet you don't know you don't know oh yeah palm oil <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's oily it's oily <laughs> Oily. It's oily. This is essentially what makes because your yam Because if you don't porridge, have this porridge. in your yam porridge, it's not yam it's porridge. It's not yam porridge. <laughs> Just try in the bin. The yam porridge is done after a long process. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> Sweet, it's nice, it's great. <laughs> this is the keto way saying keep it cute. <laughs> I'm probably done. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I'm uh, listen, everything will be in the description mm. in the comment section. As you can see, Sherry is not in the mood to talk anymore, you know. But yeah, guys, we are I even need spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I need to come and now collect everything. She needs to collect everything. Now, but yes, guys, this is the key to way. Look, guys, why? This is the key away saying keep it keto. Bye. <laughs> sure, you can't even